So if you're wondering what you're doing in a cabinet, and you're in a cabinet if you didn't know that, we're gonna straighten my hair. And if you're wondering why we're doing that, because we're definitely not a beauty channel here, let me tell you why. I have noticed ever since I had my leg amputated that it has become exponentially more important for me to take care of myself, like take care of my body, whatever that means to me. And what that means to me now is that every day, most days, not every day, I actually get dressed for the day. I take a shower if I need to take a shower. I do my hair and um, usually I like do my makeup because I have fun with that. And so we're gonna straighten my hair and I'm gonna chit chat with you. It's been interesting to me how much simple things like that matter when I'm stuck at home. Like I will literally get ready for the day, put on my makeup, take it off, all within the time I wake up after my husband has left for work and before he gets back for work sometimes and I'm totally alone. So this is 100% for me. And I realized that that has really made me feel sane during this time. And I haven't been able to drive because I'm still on medications. I'm still in a lot of pain most of the time. Another thing that has definitely helped is having some kind of goal for the day. Like today, my great goal was making it upstairs to take care of my rats. Now, before you get totally grossed out, I have three rats. They are adorable and sweet and they are smart as dogs. They have learned tricks and they know their names. And um, for those wondering, I do wrap up my leg thoroughly in saran wrap. And uh, then I put, you know, cloth over that so that they do not touch it at all. And um, they're technically the cleanest rodent out there. Google that, don't take my word for it. So um, I'm actually gonna introduce you guys to them here shortly because they're super cute. If you don't like rats, just skip that part of the video. If I don't have a goal for the day, I start feeling super depressed and it's hard to stay positive. Sometimes during this whole process, being in a lot of pain, having things change so much, not be working right now. Um, I'm usually like, not really a workaholic, but kind of. And uh, I need to have some kind of goal, even if it's silly and little. And so I know, okay, that's the one thing I have to do. And yesterday was making sure all the bills got in the mail because doctors like getting paid for their work. Small tip for you there. Also an update on how accepting help is going. It's not going very well. I uh, put out a video a while ago about being humble and you know accepting help and asking for it and all that and how it's important now. And um, man, the, the further along I go in this process, the more I realize that it is so difficult to really humble yourself and let people help you. I would rather hop around the house on one leg and attempt to vacuum it when I'm exhausted on heavy medication and might pass out than ask someone to do it for me. And that's a, a problem that becomes dangerous when I want to ask for help with stuff like that. And so that is what I am still actively working on. All right, guys, it's time for the goal of the day, which is making it upstairs with my camera to visit my rats, little Esme, Bridget, and Dee with you guys. Let me introduce you to them. This is little Bridget. Little Bridget's just about two years old now. She's super cuddly. Ooh, but she wants to go for an adventure. So when I'm not all the way downstairs chilling on the couch, this is um, sort of my yoga relaxation journaling sort of room. I'm really active in yoga. Um, I previously have been until my ankle started giving out. And so one of the things I'm really excited to start doing again is yoga, along with jujitsu and everything. Um, so hopefully in a few weeks to a few months, I will start using this room for its true purpose which is along uh, with the little rat's yoga. So you may notice that there are two cages behind me. That's because little Bridget, as sweet as she is, does not like other rats. Rats are super social creatures, like they need friends. But little Bridget here doesn't like friends. <laughs> she tries to attack them, doesn't she? See, she pretends like she wants to go visit them up there. But really, she would just kill them. They're so sweet. What you doing? This is little D and her sister Esme. D is super adventurous, oh don't I. And little D was, oh my brain, this is Esme. Little Esme was abused at a pet store. So she never comes out of her cage. She's very scared, she'll take food from my hand. I've had her about six months now, but she doesn't like being touched. So I never, I don't, I don't, I don't push her boundaries. I uh, let her do her thing, she chills in her cage and I give her treats. You go, good girl. 
So little D here is younger, so she's way more, uh, a little more spazzy than the little Bridget who you met a moment ago, but she's still very cuddly and sweet, isn't she? One source of sanity in my day has become making coffee. It forces me to come up the stairs, move around. So in that pirate unboxing video I did, my uh, friend actually sent me coffee in the bottom of that box from Indiana, from Luca B Coffee. Let me tell you, some of the best coffee I've ever had. And so that is what we are gonna have today. This is a, not a sponsored video by them, but I am gonna definitely link their website in the bio of the, in the description of this video. Fantastic coffee. Uh, leave me a comment in the comment section if you are a coffee lover, like I am. Uh, I basically live on it. I try to keep my caffeine consumption low, but that's a little challenging when coffee is so delicious. I usually drink it black unless I'm having a basic girl moment and then it's you know filled with sugar and creamer and might be a toasted white chocolate mocha from Starbucks. Today we're wearing black coffee from Luca Bees in Indiana. Mm. Yeah, that's pretty hot if you drink it straight from the, uh, the when it came out of the pot. Take care of yourselves. Thank you for watching and I will talk to you soon. Bye.